Hello everybody, this is Neil with Catalyst Machine Works and today I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to install one of these Zeus, otherwise known as Little B, ESCs onto uh, your Speed Addict Fearless frame. Um, this is a, let me go ahead and take the top plate off here. This is one way to do it um, if you are opting to run your frame without the ESC tray and just put your ESCs out on the arms. So let me give you a quick rundown of what you're looking at here. Um, <clears throat> this is what the final product is going to look like on one of the arms. Uh, so you've got the ESC in here and it's covered by some uh, large shrink tubing that goes all the way around the arm. And effectively holds that uh, speed controller in place. Uh, it's a nice clean setup and you have uh, shortened motor wire leads coming from the motor uh, right into, they're soldered right into the speed controller. Um, that may scare a few of you. It's actually really easy to do and I'm going to show you how to do it. Alright, so the first step is uh, take the ESC and pick it up, turn it around, um, revel in how awesome this thing is. After you're done, you want to remove this shrink tubing, this uh, clear shrink tubing. So you can do that with some um, some scissors, make sure they're pretty sharp, an exacto knife, something of that nature. And when you're cutting it, uh, be sure not to, uh, you know, obviously damage the ESC and get this off of here. Okay, so the next step is to cut off this shrink tubing from the speed controller. Uh, what I do is I use an X-Acto knife that's new and sharp. Uh, I take and come through and then up away from the speed controller. Be careful not to cut your hand wide open. And just go slow until you've got a slice in there and that's it. Peel the shrink tubing off and now you've exposed the, the bare circuit board. Alright, uh, now what you want to do is desolder these motor leads from the board. It's really easy to do. Um, I like to use one of these little alligator clamps, whatever you want to call it, soldering helper. It's like a second person sitting here holding it for you. Um, and one thing I want to point out is you don't have to use uh, blue gloves in your hands. Um, I've got a rare genetic disorder on my hands and I didn't want to put you guys through that and have to have to look at that. I'm just kidding. I don't I don't have a rare genetic disorder, but you don't have to use blue gloves. Alright, so I'll go ahead and desolder these. Just come in and be very careful. And it just pulls right off. That's it. So we've got those removed and we're ready for the next step. Now you want to take and position the speed controller on the arm uh, right up next to where the arm joins into the main fuselage lower plate. Uh, then take your motor of choice, position it on the arm 
and you want to mark on the wire uh, where you're going to cut. So you want these things to be the exact distance here, uh, the exact this run. So what I do is I take a little uh, X-Acto knife and just mark it, give it a little bit of slack, but just mark it here, just make a tiny little cut in the sheathing on the wire and that tells me where I need to cut all the wires. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and cut the wire. Go back and look at my mark I made. And there we go, and just cut them all the same distance. Alright, now we want to remove a little bit of this uh, rubber sheath here around the wire. You just want to remove a tiny little bit. You don't need much. Now I use an X-Acto knife to do this, but you, know, you can use some stripping pliers. I think that'd probably be better. This just works for me. I'm old school. So there we go. We've got some open leads, and now we can solder those up. All right, so we want to go ahead and tin these uh, open leads up. So they're ready to be soldered to the board. It's like I'm shaking a little bit this morning. I haven't eaten breakfast yet. So we're going to go ahead and solder the motor to the speed controller. And we take and just line this motor up and solder right across. That's it. That wasn't hard. So now you want to get your uh, your speed attic frame and make sure you've got the arm installed. This is going to help you with placement of this thing. Put it on there, make sure that it looks, uh, looks good to go. And go ahead and install your motor. So I'll do that now. If you're using the three millimeter arms, you want to use one of these washers on the screw. Uh, if you're using four millimeter arm, make sure to remove the washer. So I'll go ahead and install this motor now. Now we do suggest to use Loctite on these screws, but for the purposes of this video, I'm not doing that. Okay, I've got the arm back on the craft, and uh, I'm doing this basically for positioning purposes so I can get it exactly right, uh, get it in the location that I want. I'd like to point out that, you know, if you do this one time, you can just measure your leads and then, uh, and then do this whole process without the arm being connected to the craft for the rest of the arms if you want. It's up to you. Um, so what I'm going to do now is take and protect this ESC, um, make sure and insulate it on the arm. So uh, as you know, carbon fiber is conductive. So you wanna make sure and, and insulate this uh, circuit board. This is a 10 millimeter shrink tubing. So I'm just gonna take and run it over the ESC. There we go. Get this in place. I believe this distance here is about 32 or so millimeters. You want it long enough to when you when it shrinks down, it still protects the uh, and covers everything up. 
All right. Our next step is to secure the speed controller to the arm. Um, what I suggest you use is some of this 3M tape. This is a silicone, a clear silicone tape, double-sided stick tape. Uh, this stuff is just wonderful. Uh, it's got vibration dampening characteristics. It sticks well, but at the same time, you can you can remove it easily when it's time to time to take the component off of the craft. So what I've done is uh, got a little strip here that I've cut and I'm just going to place it on the speed controller on the bottom. You might want to use a little isopropyl alcohol here on the surface so it sticks well. Take the backing off here. All right. So let's stick this guy down. All right, the arm is removed from the craft. <clears throat> the next step is to take some more shrink tubing here with a diameter that's large enough to go over the entire arm and the speed controller. Position it in place, make sure it's centered. Um, I've cut this length to about 32 millimeters. Once it's in place, <coughs> excuse me, go ahead and shrink it down. So this is the final product. That's what it looks like. Nice clean setup, well protected, looks good. Some people probably wonder, well, why don't you just do a zip tie right here? What's wrong with a zip tie, buddy? Um, I personally don't like to use a zip tie. I think it puts too much point loading on the circuit board. I think it's a better idea to distribute any compressive load over the entire length of the board. Uh, so that's what I've done here with this shrink tape. Plus it's well protected, looks good. Um, we also sell on our website these little programmers that you use to program the ESC. It's real easy to do. Basically just take the signal cable, uh, line it up with the little prongs here, these little headers, plug it in. You know, make sure that you've got the signal and the ground connected incorrectly. And you take USB cable, plug it into this side, a little mini USB, and then obviously the other end goes into your computer. And then you program this thing through BL Heli software. On our website, we give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to do all this. It's really easy to do. Um, most of the settings are, are ready to go right out of the box. Uh, usually what I do is just go in there and change the motor rotation direction as need be. Uh, so I hope this was helpful. Um, once again, the website is www.catalystmachineworks.com. So... There you have it.